Hey guys, how's it going? This is Watch, and in this video, we're doing a direct comparison between the Canon 70D and the Sony QX1. Now, if you don't know what the QX1 is, it's basically a camera sensor that you can attach to your smartphone or tablet, whether it be iOS or Android, and basically transform that device into a fully fledged photography and video machine. Now, we're going to specifically look at the quality of the video and photo capabilities of the QX1 compared to what you'd find in a mid to professional professional level full size DSLR such as the Canon 70D. Now the first thing that we're going to take a look at is the overall specifications because basically one thing is certain that the sensor size is identical. Now maybe uh, there's a little bit of fluctuations here or there in terms of overall size but they're both in the APS-C spec of uh, sensors so a very large sensor great for low light capabilities and uh, to get that shallow depth of field of look. Now they're both using interchangeable lens systems because they are DSLR so you have a Sony E mount and A mount compatibility on the QX1 and you have the Canon EOS mount on the 70D. In terms of ISO range the QX1 can go from 100 to 16,000 ISO uh, versus the 70D can go from 100 to 25,600 ISO. They both have uh, built in flash capabilities. Now in terms of the still specifications the QX1 has a 20.4 megapixel sensor so it can capture raw and uh, JPEG images Images to that sensor uh, right onto the SD card that's built in. The Canon 70D has a 20.2 megapixel sensor that obviously can shoot uh, RAW and JPEG. And what we're going to do is, is shoot RAW on uh, both cameras so we have the exact same settings. We're also going to use the exact same Sigma lens, which is an 18 to 35 f1.8, which is an excellent lens for uh, pretty much any APS-C size sensor. Now, with that being done, let's go ahead and take a look at some of these stills and and uh, compare them side by side to see which one looks best to you. Now the photos that come out of the QX1 are pretty darn impressive considering the fact that it's basically just a camera uh, sensor without any body and basically your body is going to be your iOS or Android device that is basically going to control all the different aspects of uh, the actual sensor itself. Now in terms of the sharpness and clarity in controlled circumstance environments that you're looking at right over here, I think the QX1 definitely can hold up on its own compared to what you find on the 70D. Now if you look at it uh, more critically in uh, different circumstances where the lighting isn't that great. The 70D definitely outshines in most circumstances being a little bit sharper and certainly being a lot better in terms of low light performance. Now the low light performance is definitely not bad on the QX1 but you definitely get a lot more color noise compared to the 70D which really has a masterful sensor in there. It's excellent for a low light performance. Now move forward in terms of video capabilities both cameras can shoot 1080p at 30 frames per second so we're going to go ahead and take a look at some of the raw footage that's coming directly from both cameras. Now one thing certainly can be said at this point is that the QX1 certainly is a better stills camera than it is a video camera, but the video is definitely not bad, uh, certainly for being a device that's basically a sensor being controlled by a smartphone. It's definitely uh, very usable and it gives you that excellent shallow depth of field look that you can only get from a large sensor camera. You can fake it in other means, but uh, really you really can't get that same kind of magical look that you get from a nice large sensor match with an excellent lens that has a large aperture of f1.8 or even larger so in terms of comparing it to the 70d i have to say that obviously the canon offers better video capabilities uh, definitely better footage overall coming straight out of the camera certainly because of that much higher bit rate you're getting a higher dynamic range better color rendition as well as a sharper uh, image that has less overall noise and that's pretty much it for this video over here guys if you are interested in how the qx1 compares 
cameras against other kind of mainstream cameras that you would get out there such as your smartphone or a traditional mirrorless camera definitely check back to our channel as well as there's the full review of the QX1 which you definitely want to check out but thanks so much for watching again and we'll see you later take care